didn't just make something up that was contrived as heck. The bottom line is, what is all those words? The bottom line is, Heinlein says that insects are the things that specialize. I can't do it. The brain is amazing. I'm going to round three different things together, and I hope you understand what I'm talking about at the end, because it won't be my fault if you don't. The right brain is what we're going to try to get going here. The creative part of you, that little eight-year-old that was mercilessly in, just annihilated by the left brain being told through you're smarter than that right brain. You can be this. You can be this. You can be them simultaneously. I want to get both of your brains arguing today, and I want to do it by talking about drawing and history. Drawing. I thank God every day for that gift. It is not a mystical experience that comes down from the heavens upon you. It is not one of these types of experiences. How many of you play music? Did you have to practice? Why do you get freaked out when you have to touch a pen, a pencil, a piece of paper? All you're doing is having fun. The right brain is activated by drawing in a way that nothing else you do can be touched by. Drawing is an act of creation that your right brain loves. If you want perfection, then you need to get into something else. But drawing is not perfection. <laughs> How many of you people get freaked out by grabbing a piece of paper and a pencil and going, I gotta draw something? Don't do it. You've already heard from the effect that drawing has on people. I love this guy. When I read about his life, I cry. Yes, you do, and so do I, and so did everybody. But what are you going to do about it? Hey, fucking drawing! I can't draw a straight line! Just get past it, okay? Drawing, get a sketchbook, get some paper, and put a staple in it. Throw some glue on it. Doodle! Just nothing. Create. Your brain gets excited. It gets you just as excited as when you pull that really creepy, gnarly hair out of your chin that's been ingrown forever. <laughs> This is drawing. This is drawing. It's not a creation of a masterpiece. It's the, pro the process of observation and putting things down on paper and just doing it. We all know about the famous sketchbooks of this guy. And yes, thank you for bringing up the Da Vinci Code because that's a bunch of horse bucket. <laughs> this guy has been one of the avatars of drawing in the sketchbook. The great thing about it is, as history shows, nothing he did creates works. <laughs> history has been a catalyst for me because it makes both parts of my brain go nuts. The more I learn about history, the more excited I get. The more that happens in your brain, the more synapses that happen. The more the synapses that go on, the smarter you get, the more you can learn. And you will find that your history and your ego are way too tied together. The next slide's gonna make you nuts, and I don't care. I hope it makes you nuts. Here comes the pregnant moment. Did you know that Southern Democrats started the Klan? No. What do you have to do with a bunch of old dead people that did stuff you had nothing to do with? Why does that bother you? Does your left brain already go, wait a minute, I didn't hear about that, I was lied to. Your right brain's like, well, the big picture is, it's a big world out there. No witches were burned in the witch trials, did you know that? Look, it was a drawing. Drawing is history's sketchbook. We like to draw things to represent ourselves a certain way, like the independence that was not on this day. Seven years later, you've heard of the Treaty of France? Seven years later is when Britain said, okay, you're independent, we quit. So why 4th of July? What I love to do is go around urban decay, and I study graphic design history. There in the middle of the urban ghetto, Paul Rand, my hero, his logo. And like a Cylon, I suddenly saw an entirely different environment that wasn't in the slum. I was just imagining how great things are. Here's another test for you. I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> the first black member of the house was back then, not recently. Are we excited by knowing this? What happens if I tell you, well, what party was he with? Their left no, 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 it might not matter. Bottom line is history inspired me. I thank God that I can draw. It has changed my life and given me more than I can ever know. Get some inspiration. 
I say to you, get a sketchbook, get some drawing, get some inspiration, and you'll be like Hulk, brain smash. And this is the drawing at the end of my conclusion. Thank you.